Good afternoon, High School Blitz family. This is Ms. V coming to you once again with another great interview. I can't wait to talk to these young men that we have on today. I know you're going to enjoy it because I'm looking forward to a great time myself. Um, without any further delay, I will go ahead and let the guys come on and introduce themselves. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm Elijah Spencer. Um, I live in Irma, South Carolina. I go to Dutch Fork High School and play receiver. Um, my name is Hayden Vasquez. I'm quarterback at Sumner High. Uh, my name is Shamar Price. I go to Dutch Fork High School. I play offensive line. My name is Justin Boone. I'm a, I play defensive end. I play for Sumner High School. All right. Well, what we have today is we have um, Justin Boone, who is the quarterback for Elijah and Shimon, and as you heard, we have Hayden and Justice from Sumter High School. So let's start with Hayden, um, and then we'll go to Shimon, Elijah, and then Justice. Kind of give us a, a brief overview or of how your recruiting is going, how practice is going, um, anything else that you want to let the world know that's going on with you right now. Um, let's go ahead and we'll start with Hayden. All right. Um, recruiting is, is definitely starting to take place. Um, the pandemic has it's, it's, it's held it back quite a bit. But, I mean, I currently stand with two offers. Um, still waiting to see who else knocks on the door. But, I mean, I'm eager to – I'm ready for the season to start to see what – to show what I um, have, like, improved on and stuff. So. Awesome. Awesome. Hi, Sean. Um, yes, but my recruiting is pretty, going pretty good, even though this pandemic is like holding everything back. But God has a plan for me, and everything is going great right now. I got like one offer, but I got plenty more schools that are interested in me. Good, good, good. Awesome. Um, so far as recruiting, um, I hold 11 scholarships. Um, you know, this. This quarantine has, has, you know, taken a toll, you know, blessing in disguise. You know, that's when I picked up most of my offers. Um, and I'm looking to make my decision here Monday. So stay tuned. Okay. All right. Um, well, I call, um 22 offers, um, 22, 22 scholarships. Um, I'm committed to play football at um, Florida. And um. My recruitment process, I'm, I'm still open to recruitment or whatever like that. Um, I still, you know, talk to other schools um, as far as that. I kind of set what, what I want to do already. Okay. Okay. Well, good. It sounds like everybody's pretty active right now. And, and this, you know, pandemic has been a blessing in disguise for some. You know, it gives you a little extra time, you know, before the season starts to get in shape. Um, get some, uh, you know, some workout, you know, a little extra um, solo workout in, get your weight up for those who need to get their weight up. And uh, so you, just, it really depends on how you look at it and, you, you know, and um, go from there. So I'm, I'm glad to hear, hear about that. Now, um, I'm going to go one at a time for the things that, you know, I know about each one of you. Um, Hayden, I've been watching you for a while. Um, been wanting to interview for a while. Um, just because, uh, as I said in my last video, and you other guys, you know, don't 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 be upset, but I'm a I'm a quarterback kind of girl myself, okay? So but anyway, um, but I've just been watching your 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 videos, some of your games, and um I, I see that you have a promising uh, future ahead of you. You got great form um, and look and a great arm. So I'm looking to see some really good um, football come out of you this uh, this this season. So what are you looking forward to in the season um, for yourself? Yeah, I mean I'm definitely looking forward to the season. Um, you know, it, we we got set back a little bit, but I mean a lot of our guys are still doing their best to come together and work as a team, even though we haven't really got a team yet. But um, 
Yeah, we got a, we lost a few key players last year, but I mean we have a lot of guys coming up and um, ready to fill the position. So I mean I think I think we'll be ready. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, Justice. Yes, ma'am. Florida. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, not that I dislike Florida. They had some cool quarterbacks too, at some point. But yes, uh, so what? So far, I know you say your recruitment is still open and everything, um, and you're still talking to schools. Uh, so what was it so far about Florida that has you leaning that way, or at least verbally committing that way? Um, really, for me, it's just like um, like my style of play and how I play is exactly like how kind of their defense is set up. So like I wouldn't really have to change up how I play, you know, just turn this cork up some of the few things that I got to tighten up and stuff like that. But um, all together, just like really like how I play in my high school and how my high school used me as a um as a player is how they is how they would project me to do the same thing over there. So I just feel like that make more sense than me trying to change my whole game into something that I'm not used to doing. That's a good point. That's a good point. And, you know, it is those little things like that that are important when you're choosing a school um, because it can either make or break you. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's like you want to do what you know you're good at, you know, and then other times, and, it, and you know, everybody's different and, and it works for different people. Um, but on the other time, you know, it's like you find out something about yourself in a different you know, scheme of playing that you didn't realize you possess. So, you know, it really is a person, a player to player uh, situation. But I, I definitely dig what you're saying about how that fit with Florida would uh, be good for you. So, good. Well, congratulations yes, there. Shaman, big man. Yes, ma'am. What, what are you looking forward to the Dutch Fort year? I, I, I can almost hear it already, but you can tell me. Well, first, I want to win another championship. I knew that's what was going to be the first thing. I knew that was going to be the first thing you said. But overall, this year, I'm looking forward to being as a leader and working on myself and my craft to become a better office alignment. Mm -hmm. And I want the young guys to look up to me uh, to see that I'm a leader and I can hold everything down on the line. Well, good, good, good. Yeah, it's definitely important, you know, to step up in that role this season because you guys are it. You know, this is your season to own that field, even though you, you know, probably owned it a great bit, you know, last year. Um, but it's really your time to really help to mold and shape those younger guys um, so that the tradition of winning can continue. You don't want the buck to stop with you. You know, you want that tradition to continue. So um, that's really uh, – I look I look forward to uh, seeing you have a great, great season. I was watching some of your video, and and um, I was like uh, – I saw you, and I was like, yeah, Shimon is one of those 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 workhorses right there. You know, you don't get the – get the publicity. You don't get the – you know, the light shined on you, but I don't think, you know – Elijah or or Ron could be that successful had you created that um, trap for them to just run straight through, you know. So, um, and I noticed that a lot when I was looking at your film. So, uh, kudos to you. Great job for what you're doing so far. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Elijah. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about you. What you looking forward to this year? Uh, ultimately, um, you know, our goal is to continue to make history and, and win five in a row. Um, but, you know, that, that starts now, you know, stepping up to be a leader, like Shaman said. Mm -hmm. uh, we lost a lot of seniors, a lot of key players, but we also have people to fill in those roles. So I think we can, you know, fill the, the depth chart up, uh, you know, equally as last year. So we have a pretty good opportunity to, you know, to reach that goal. Um, so I'm excited. Well, good. Well, good. Yes. Um, I'm excited to see you step up in that major role. Um, uh, although you had a pretty, pretty good role this past season, you know, as, as well, you had you on one side and um, Jalen Hyde on the other side. Um, and you had some pretty, pretty big games there. I know that the clip that was used in the trailer 
um, was a really good one. And wasn't it the, was it, was it you that, um, the play that made ESPN top 10, was that the play, the trick play? Or that, was yes, that you catching that ball? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, you know, people are going to be looking for more moments like that. So you ready to give that to them? Oh, I am. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Oh, great. Well, it sounds like everybody's ready for a spectacular, um, spectacular season. It would be really good to see Hayden throw one of them bombs to Elijah. I mean, I think that would be pretty, pretty interesting right there. We need to get y'all together one day and see how that works out. That looks, I think that would be pretty good. And um, to see Shaman and Justice head on head. Oh, man. That's good. That's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. I guess I'd have to be the coach. But anyway, yes. that, would, <laughs> that would be good. So um, Hayden and and Justice, um, I know you guys, I don't think uh, you guys get, did y'all get to play each other last year? I mean, as far as Dutch Fort, did y'all did y'all play against each other last year? No, man, we were supposed to play them in the, um, in the Jamboree, but the Jamboree got canceled all because oh. of that. That's right. What was it like lightning or something, some weather or something like that? Yes, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that would have been a that would have been one one to watch. Have y'all played each other before? You know, ma'am. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, Justice and Hayden, in your lineup, minus I guess minus Dutch Fork, um, man, we have them on the video. Uh, who else that is not on your um, schedule to play another school in the South Carolina that you haven't played before that you would love to play against? Um, for me, I probably say it had to be like um, pro. Like I haven't played against it, but my school, the school is playing against. I want to play against like Trinity Burns and um. I want to play against um, what's the, the school? But me and him haven't played them though. Yeah. We were, we played them, but we weren't playing them. Like we were on yeah. the sideline. So I mean, it's it, I think it'll be a really good matchup. Cause I mean they're always a good team. Them Gaffney Dorman, those programs are just top of the line. Yeah. yeah. What doing, so I mean, I think. Us playing some of those teams would be, would be a good matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you because um, it would definitely be, especially with you guys. You know, you're the big guys now. You're the the lead, so it would definitely be a, a different. I think it would be a different game. It would be a good one. It right. would be a good. Yes. One. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Elijah, Shaman. Not counting Sumter, as we do have them on the interview, what school have you not played that you would love to play against? I would say Gaffney and Burns. Yeah, that was me. That's far for me. Uh, no, I, I like South Point. Uh, you know, they, they held, you know, that state championship record for so long. And it's, it's a dispute who's the best in the state. And I just want to solidify that we are the best in the state. I think it would be a good matchup, too. Okay. Okay. What did you say? Um, what would you say, Shimon? What was the other school, Gaffney and who? Well, I would. I basically would say Burn because, like, my brother played in high school when I was a little kid. I used to watch my brother play, mm -hmm. and Burn was like a powerhouse during his time. Mm -hmm. so I always want. I always want to go up against them because I want to compete against the best. Okay. Yeah. Well, you always want, is that exactly, you always want to compete against the best, you know, because that's how you find out how good you are. Okay, so now, thinking about the position that you're playing now, if you could play any other position, what would it be and why? Um, I would play quarterback. Because uh, <laughs> cause I think I'd be, like, throwing around, like, sometimes I go to 707s and not throw. Sometime like that, and I think I threw pretty good. And then I think if I was to scrub, I'd probably knock some helmets off or hey, something like that. I think, I think I'm his head. You see that? Yeah, you I see, see it. 
I think I would be. I think I would be like a Cam Newton QB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, why are you shaking your head, Aiden? No, just no. <laughs> not built for quarterbacks. Not built. Oh. <laughs> he, his, his hand deserves to be in the dirt. That's what it is. <laughs> mm, is that what it? Okay. Well, so hey, well, what other position would you play? I would probably play linebacker. I, mean, I used to. Look, I used oh to look, no! <laughs> just because I mean linebacker, he's the leader of the defense, you know. So I mean, I'm kind of used to that pressure being a quarterback. I, you're a leader on the field. I mean, the, everything good goes on you. Everything yeah. bad goes on you too. So I mean, linebacker would be a good position for me. I think. And here, Justin's talking about. Oh no, that's a shame. You're hating on me. <laughs> All right, Elijah, Shaman, if you could play any other position, what would it be and why? D-line, because in rec league, that's where I play, and I love to hit people. I mean, I hit people all line, but I like to tackle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For me, I, I would play running back. That makes sense. That I, that makes sense. That's kind of like a – yeah, that makes sense. What about you, Elijah? I would play running back. Um, you know, I have a little experience there. Freshman year, I play running back on our, our – Freshman team, um, you know, I, it just feels special when you, you get the ball in your hands and, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. So, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can see you as a running back. He did. He did. He did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he has some long legs, though. I guess he could. I just usually think, you know, you think of the, the running backs as more like, well, when I think of running back, I think of um, somebody that's, uh, a little shorter, stockier, you know. Um, yeah, you might be all right. Until you run into a shaman. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> all right. Does anyone else have another talent or dream that you would want to pursue if you weren't playing sports so you can't say basketball or football or i mean well any other sport so anything besides a sport that if you had the opportunity say you got hurt or whatever you had the opportunity for to pursue what would that be president president okay so are you are you like into politics though yeah Yeah. yes ma'am okay okay President Justice Boone. All right. All right. Well, you already got the justice there. It got a ring to it. Yeah, it got the ring to it. Yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I, I might vote for you just for the name. Okay. Who else? Me, I would be a businessman. I have a million dollar business company. Mm. Any ideas of what that would be? Uh, Probably like Donating for the community, uh, for my community, like like bad places, I can help them build and make them have hope that they could get out. Okay, well that sounds that sounds good. Very very noble, very noble. It'll take a lot of um, um a lot of help with that. You know, a, a lot of um, other business people and a lot of other people's money. You know, as far as like people wanting to volunteer and give donations and that sort of thing. So uh, I think you have the opportunity, the, the personality to get people to open up their wallets. Mm-hmm. That's good. Very noble. Uh, for me, uh, I'll, I'll be a pediatrician. Pediatrician? Uh, you know, helping kids. You know, I, I enjoy helping kids, you know, dealing with them. Um, and being in the medical field is something I've always dreamed of. So, mm-hmm. you know, I think it's fit. Okay, we'll go. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Cool. You got small brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have a younger brother who's 11 and a younger sister who's 7. Okay, okay, okay. Big, big brother Elijah. All right, cool. You you let him do your, you let your little sister do your hair? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it, gets to, it gets to be too much sometimes. <laughs> I can imagine, but the day she gives you ponytails, I want you to send me a picture. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, Hayden. I'm probably business too, like Shaman said. I mean, that's that's what I plan to major in in college, business. Okay. So either that or music. 
Okay. And when you say music, singing or playing an instrument? Uh, I'm not the best singer, but I mean, I play. <laughs> oh, I bet you can sing. No, that's all that's just right there. <laughs> um, I play the guitar. I used to play the cello. So, I mean, uh, music, my grandpa actually plays the guitar. He sings professionally, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Kind of who's your who's your grandfather? So I look him up. Wally Germany. He probably won't. He he plays a lot of gigs down in Florida. So Wally Germany. Germany. Okay. All right. I will. I'm gonna Google him. I'm gonna Google him. Okay. Who well, sounds good? So thank you once again for watching us. Another great interview with our guys from Sumter High School and from Dutch Fork. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or visit our website at highschoolblitz.com. Thank you. Have a great weekend.